Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going to be making a just a fun, easy, and quick craft for our Bibles and journals today. So you won't need your Bible today, you won't need your journal. There are a few different ways you can do this, and a few different ways you can make them a little bit more stable. But we're going to be making bookmarks today, and I have a couple that I've already made. Just this past week, I just started doing these, and I thought these were so much fun. I just wanted to create one with you. So, I did use these. I used some scrapbooking paper, which you can use, and they're just, it helps to have a colorful background that way you don't have to do a lot of extra stuff on your pieces. But you can also use cardstock or printing paper, whatever you have handy. That's what I want you to use. You don't have to use anything extra that you don't have. So here's just a fun little paper pack. And I'll show you a couple different sizes that I used. I have a shorter one. I think this one's only about five by two and a half to three inches. And then my bigger ones, which are these ones, I actually made a little bit bigger because I have this, which is a clear plastic sleeve, and you can get these off of Amazon. I actually got this one when somebody gifted me a bookmark, and it came in this plastic seal. So I can just slide in my homemade bookmarks, and they're already nice and protected that way. I don't have to create an extra seal if I don't want to, but I still am going to, just so my stickers don't get worn or anything. But you can just leave them this way. Just put on some stickers and you're ready to go to have a fun bookmark in your journals, your planners, or your Bibles. And this, this is the way I'm going to be showing you guys today. As This is a self-seal laminating sheet. So if you don't have a laminating machine, you don't need one. These are sold probably at any office store, but I bought these at Walmart. I think it's around 6 or $7 and you get 10 sheets, but you need two to kind of laminate it. So technically... Technically, it's only five, but don't do one at a time, but I'll talk about that later after we create our bookmarks. So, I actually kind of want to use the same one that I have because this one that I made, I made a travel one because I love to travel, but I want on the other side, I want to do a faith uh, bookmark so I can put it in my Bible or in a regular book as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but you don't have to have a double-sided. As I said, you can use cardstock, any paper you have handy, whatever you want to use. Even, honestly, if you wanted to use newspaper, you probably could to kind of Mod Podge newspaper on there. That would be a fun thing to do, or comics. Okay, so just make sure it's the same side up, although you don't have to. You can have it upside down. But you can use a lot of different things. You can just use colored pencils and color or do whatever you want markers. You can use washi tape, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use washi tape as I don't think the colors really match. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some stickers and you can use any type of stickers. I just happen to have a lot of happy planner stickers. So I want to use up some of my stash, but you can use Dollar Tree stickers, whatever you have handy, use up what you have. And that's what matters. It's just, we're going to have fun creating a cute bookmark for us to use. So I did see one in here. If you can hear background noise, I'm sorry. It's just our washing machine going on in the background. Okay, so I like these squares. Because if you want to, you can use a, a piece of square for like clear stickers. Oh, this pink one's kind of fun. And you don't have to match colors. I like using just any, any random stickers that kind of go well together. I kind of like this pink one because it's different and it stands out. Let's go ahead and use this one. All right, so I'm going to place this kind of in the center as best as I can. It doesn't have to be exact because we're just having fun and decorating our bookmark. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one because this one has Bible verses in it. I want to find a good Bible verse to put in that square. Okay, so I'm going to do this one that I found that says, by his wounds we are healed. Because I think it's going to be the perfect size to put in that box. And we are healed. By his wounds we are saved. And he died for our sins. So I really like that. And it matches the 
blue background in the back. So I'm gonna layer this on top of that square. I love clear stickers for that reason. So you wanna make sure when you use clear stickers just to press down, that way it's not gonna lift up and it won't have any, any of the shadowing. For some reason, like you get like those little, can't tell, you get like little streak marks. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and flat. And there we go. Look how cute that is. You can even just leave it that way. And it looks so cute. Okay, I did see the one in the front here that says Prey. And I like that it's that nice, really pretty teal color. So I wanted to put this kitty corner. Let's see. Let's put it at the top. Whoops, I like it at the top. There we go. Really cute. And you can use anything you want. You can even use, if you just wanted to print out some images and cut them out and paste, you can do whatever you want. There are so many things out there that you can do. Okay, so I found these cute flower stickers. I think these would be really cute to put on our, on our bookmarks. Let's go ahead and add some of these on. So we have our bookmark finished. I think it turned out really, really cute. I love that it's got a mixture of pink and teal and blues in there. I love it. That is the other side. So you can use both sides or you can just have the one side showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now use the laminating sheets and show you guys how to use them. Now this is the tip I was talking about beforehand. Just let me open this up really quick. Okay, so I have my two laminating sheets out, and you don't need a machine. Just as long as it says, whatever it says on the cover, self-seal, you don't need a machine. That's why I love these. Okay, make sure you also have something to press down. You can use just a flat book, or I'll probably use this actually. This container has a nice edge to it. So you need something to get rid of any air bubbles. And you just wanna take your time, and if it has air bubbles, don't worry about it. I'm sure I have stuff lying around the house that has air bubbles, but you need two. Some of them, they do have ones that are, are pockets and you only need one of those, but these ones have two. So what I'm gonna do is, I know some people don't take the whole thing off, but they have one that says remove this top strip first, which I do, but then I'm gonna take off the whole thing because most of the time you don't if you're only doing one, but we're doing more than one. This is the tip I was talking about. Because since these are huge, they're pretty big, what you're going to do is you're going to lay down more than what you have, or more than just one at a time. Because you have this huge space, you can do at least, let's do it this way actually. I noticed if we do it this way, I think it's going to be better. And don't worry about fingerprints because you're really not going to see them when they're done. And you won't see the page because... Once these are down, you can see them. So I think I'm gonna lay them this way because I can fit more down. Oops, there's an overlaying sticker. Okay, I just wanted to cut off that piece of sticker. But we're gonna lay them down as close to the edges as we can. Oops, and once you lay them down, you're not gonna be able to get them off. So make sure you have it where you want it. Okay, so I want it about here. Make sure you have room on all the edges and you're just gonna smooth it down with your fingers and that's gonna create a seal on that one side. So we already know that that one side is not gonna have any bubbles. So you can use this if you want to and just press it down gently. Okay, so that's one down and then we can just go ahead and finish putting these down. And that way you don't waste any of your laminating sheets. You just put one at a time. Make sure you have a gap in between each one. So when you cut them out, they're gonna have a nice seal to them. I'm just gonna lie this one down and press down. Make sure you're pressing down on all the corners so that way there's no bubbles underneath. There we go. And then I think I'm only gonna have room for two more. So let's go ahead and use these other two. I'm just wondering which ones I wanna use. I definitely wanna do this one. So I'm gonna send this to somebody. There we go, and just press down nice and easy. You don't have to press down hard. Just make sure it's pressed down nice. There we go. Okay, 
And then I think I have room for one more. Yeah, I, well, it is a little, gonna be a little tight, but I think we can do one more. So let's go ahead and do this one. There we go. Okay, so I can fit four. And if you do short ones like this one, you can line them this way and maybe you can even fit more. So just figure out which way you want to before you take off the stickiness. Okay, now this is the tough part. I wanna put it sideways like this. And I'm gonna take my other laminating sheet and don't forget to remove that one piece. Now, some people lay it um, this way and gently peel back. I wanna try this way. I've never done it this way. I usually peel the whole thing off, but who knows? It could work out better for us. <laughs> All right, so I wanna lay it. I want to go off camera just for a second, guys, so I can make sure it's nice and straight on the edge. It doesn't have to be exact, but as close as you can get. Okay, so I'm as close as I'm going to get to the edge. Okay, so I got my laminating sheets together. Now I'm just going to press that down. And what you want to do is, let me go up here like this. You're gonna peel off this paper. And as you're doing it, just go really slow over. And you wanna just go really slow. Take your time so there's no bubbles, okay? That's the best that's the best example I can do is just go really slow. And then you won't have any bubbles when you're done. Or very little bubble. Just go nice and slow. And it's okay, it's okay to go slow in your crafting. because you wanna make sure that you have a nice seal and you just want your bookmarks to look nice. If you, if you do seal them, you don't have to. But that way, they're a little bit more protected. If you spill something on them, you're not gonna have to worry about, oops, worry about it being hard to clean up because when you have this seal, you don't have to worry about any muss or fuss. Just go nice and slow. And when you're done, you can actually go back across with that nice flat edge and make sure there's no bubbles. Because once you have it down, you won't be able to take it off, remember. Oops, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> okay, gently just keep going along. And you might, you might have bubbles but it won't be a lot. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna go across and use this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten this out. I'm trying to see what edge will be, work better, probably this one. But you just wanna go along and make sure there's no bubbles. I feel like one is gonna have bubbles only because I did do a lot of layering stickers on the one, so probably better with less stickers. But we're trying to get, we're going to try to get rid of as many bubbles as we can. So just go along and just press out all those bubbles and I'll be back just as soon as I'm done doing this. Okay, so once you have your bookmarks all sealed, we're going to go ahead and go in and cut these up. I'm going to fast forward through this so you guys don't have to watch me do it. But we're just going to cut along and don't go right up to the bookmark. I don't know why, but I like to have an edge around my bookmark. That way I know it's sealed for life. So you just want to go around and leave just like, not even like a centimeter or a half a centimeter worth across. So I'm just going to do this and we'll be back shortly to finish this out. Okay, so we have them all cut out. Now this is one of the most important steps. These corners are sharp. <laughs> so you don't want to get any paper cuts when you give these to people or you have them for yourself. So I'm gonna use a um, circular hole punch, but if you don't have one of those, you can just go ahead and use scissors. I'm gonna use scissors on this one. You just wanna go around and get rid of those round edges. That way nobody's gonna hurt themselves that they are pretty sharp, so you just wanna go around the edges. So that's what I'm doing with this one. I'm using scissors for this one, so that way you guys can know that you don't have to have any fancy tools. And I got rid of most of the sharpness, so now it's going to be fine and it's not going to cut you. So then we're going to use our handy dandy 
round cutter for the others. So you just want to go in and measure it up. Now I know that plastic's a little harder to cut. It still cuts, but sometimes, sometimes it's a little finicky. But it looks like it's going to work. Oh, this one didn't. <laughs> but my hole punch could also be full. There it goes. All right, so that is all that you have to do to create these fun bookmarks. And again, as I said, if you don't have laminating sheets or you don't want to go out and get them, you don't have to. You can just go ahead and just leave them the way they are. Um, you know, they will fade with time if you don't laminate them, but if you do, I'm pretty sure these will last pretty much forever or <laughs> close to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subs subscribe down below for a lot more fun videos in the future to come. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I hope you will join in with me and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and I will see you all in the next video.